Hello people, um, long time no see, uh, just a quick update, um, first of all come June the 16th this year I'll have been carp fishing for 49 years which is a bloody long time um, last year I joined a new syndicate uh, I fished it up until August end of August yeah end of August uh, I did video, but the content was not what I wanted, so they didn't get put up. After August, my um, what's the word I'm looking for? my passion started to dwindle so I hung my rods up until early January this year when I started to go out and do a bit of piking which I thoroughly enjoyed. Uh, that stopped at the end of February, mainly because uh, I wasn't going to go down the tackle shop, buy some dead baits, and then having to waste it all a couple of weeks later when the season finished. So I'm going to get back into my park fishing again this coming season. September, October, I shall be doing some Xander fishing. And then from early November onwards, I shall be park and Xander fishing. Uh, I've got some unfinished business on one of my local day ticket waters. Uh, my personal best out of that lake is £18, just over. But there are a few 20s being caught now, so that's one of my aims. So land a 20 out of there. I, another one of my aims is to catch a double figure net of roach. Now being located where I am, uh, just south, no, just north of Peterborough, Within 20 minutes, I've got the Spalding Town Welland, which does produce 30 pound bags of roach in the winter. I'm also close to March, which is the old River Neen, where they've got, where the evening matches. 13 pound barely gets a mention in a section so that's two venues uh, I've got a venue through my village that might be able to do a double figure net and then there's another drain in Whittlesea that could also do 
a double figure net of roach. So I've got four venues there. Obviously, I want to get it all done and dusted, that done and dusted before September, before the start of before the start of the Moisander campaign. I'm also toying with the idea of going after some big bring. Now, the drain that I'm thinking of for that is commonly known as a suicide drain. It's a big length of water, possibly eight or nine miles long, uh, 100 yards wide in places, but with only Four, there's only four bridges that go across it for your access. So that's going to be a bit, it's not going to be a bit, it's going to be a lot hit and miss. So, yes, I've had double figure bream in the past, <coughs> but that's been on my carp tackle. So 16 pound line, ounce and a half ounce, uh, ounce and a half lead, two and three quarter, three pound rods. You're not getting no real enjoyment out of it. So I could be investing in a couple of more rods, 12 foot pound and three quarter, just for that. I might even, on another drain, I might even try and target some tench. So, I mean, again, I've had, I've had big tench while I've been carp fishing. But never a big tench when specifically fishing for them. So only time will tell. So, yeah, yeah, I've got, this is, no, it's nearly the end of March now. So I've got until, I'm going to say June the 16th or June the 15th to see if I can't winkle out a 20 at this day ticket water. Um, and then from June 16th until September 1st, or whenever the, the first day I've got off in September is, I've got that amount of time to sort out the bream if I decide to go for them. If not, I'll carry on carp fishing on this day ticket water. And to also grab, or not grab, get my double figure net of roach. Now, if there's any matchman watching, they'll think, oh, double figure bag of roach is easy. But like I said, at the start of June, June the 16th this year, I've been carp fishing for 49 years. So I've missed out on a lot of no, I wouldn't say missed out. I've not been inclined to uh, go for a double figure bag of roach. But, I mean, I'm 63 in June. So, time is running out, so to speak. Yeah, so... That's the update. Whatever occurs, I shall take you all along with me. You know, do the vlogging and what have you. Um, why not? 
I might not do the vlog on the road, but we'll see. We'll see. Because obviously, you don't want to see a newbie handling 11, 12, 13 metres of bloody pole and stuff like that. So, I mean, that, it, it, it'll be fun. Don't get me wrong. It'll be fun. So, yeah, that's just the the update as to why there's been no vlogs for the past six, seven, eight months. Um, so, yeah. I mean, one thing with the with that syndicate water that I joined, there's... There was one particular area of it that was very snaggy and people were fishing it and just losing fish after fish. And I thought, do I really be one of associated with that? You know, being on the same membership as that? Nah. Nah. Didn't fancy that whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, that's the plan for the coming season. Uh, can't fish up until June the 16th on this local day ticket water. Was hoping to get a 20. Um, there's a lot of small fish in there, so I'm going to be up in my bait size from 16 mil to 20, 22 mil, something like that. You know, just to try and get away the away from the smaller fish after that will be either continue carping or go down the bream route um, apparently the suicide drain the bream average between eight and a half and nine and a half uh, with the number of double figure bream tucked in um, the double figure net of roach I mean I, I don't care if it's if it's only a dead on 10 pound or 10 pound and an ounce I'll have set out to do what I've you know I've achieved what I've set out to do catch a double figure net of roach um, and then September October will be Xander and then from November onwards, it will be Xander and Pi, hopefully. <coughs> right, thanks for tuning in, guys. And uh, I'll see you with me on the bank real soon, I hope. <laughs>